Hey everyone, today is November 5th and we're going to see the brand new lake drain. It's finally complete. They put some new rocks here. They look beautiful instead of those ugly jersey barriers they had up all summer. But now, look at this. The parking spaces are back for fishermen and that little driveway right here. The new lake drain looks pretty awesome and it looks beaver proof too. Got this really nice slip proof grate. Amazing. And look the old other one. That's the old one. We'll go look that in a minute. It's completely plugged up. It looks like they might not be finished because it's said in their original report they're going to remove that jersey barrier there so they can have a natural slope into the pond. Still got a little bit of fall colors. Basically gone. Got a few inches of snow last week in this area. Look at see the beavers right there off to the side. They've been doing some chewing. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, the way this is set up, this, it looks like they can uh, lift it up. See, it looks like, is that, is that yeah, that's the, that's the door and there's a ladder right there. If you look down inside, it's got a ladder, a really nice dam structure. And look at that, the big pipe, pretty cool barely any flow because it hasn't really been raining out that is beautiful though the brand new lake drain and take a look at that big opening right there it's more difficult for beavers to clog that up see it's just a little trickle now it would take them a really long time to jam that up and I'm sure they'd catch it by then so this is what the project looks like. 2.2 million dollars later. Originally a civil engineer told me if they would have listened now 18 months ago they could have put a sleeve in the old one and saved it and that would have cost $8,000 in parts with labor probably 50,000. But still the new one's a lot better than what they had because this old one it was just a nightmare of clogging. Take a look. Oh, we got some nice fish there. You see? You can see the old concrete structure. You can see it down there. Right there, that metal, the brackets that used to hold up that big valve stem. People always used to ask, what is that thing? But you see, they just poured concrete in there. It's not even smoothed out, but it's very effective. They use flowable concrete. This rock here, I used to always sit on that thing. It used to be right here. You can see the spot where they pushed it. Yep, they filled it in with concrete. The do not litter sign, $500 fine is still there. And that's been there for about 18 months. Let's see if it did, it should be starting to, yep, it's starting to grow into the tree. Someday, the tree will start like growing around it and that can cause infection. You're not supposed to nail it to trees. I've seen some park rangers, they won't nail it in all the way so it has time to uh, room to grow. But they didn't do that and also people steal signs when that happens i got a brand new tree down across the field oh look at that it smushed their whole highway fence look at that rotted tree got somebody dumped their carpet underneath it pretty cool we're gonna go look at the other side because the dot replaced all the drain pipes leading down from this and now that they're complete we can go look inside of the culvert let's go check it out poor tree one of their machines pushed it and broke the bottom. Here we are on the other side. They got rid of those ugly jersey barriers and now they just put a few big boulders. It looks like they need a few more. And look at that, they put some nice riffraff rock up and they have that pool so when it's raging it slows it down to eliminate erosion. But look at this, they tore down all the trees that used to be here. Cause you remember that old rusty pipe they had coming down. I want to go see the old lake drain. The old pipes, the old drain pipes, they came all the way down and under the fence. But these ones, they just have it built up like that, which I think is more appealing. They're probably just going to let it turn back into woods again. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't have boots on. So what? 
we're just gonna walk right through the water. It's actually warm out, even though it's November 5th. It's actually 78 degrees it was reading in the car. Looks like the old one is still leaking a little bit of iron. Whoa, but they were supposed to plug it and yep, they did plug it. Take a look. That's their property line, but they had to get vehicles or mach machines into here. Look at the trail from people working here. Yup, look at that. They plugged it shut. The old lake drain. How deep is this water? Now we're gonna walk right on in. Whatever. Water's not too cold. It's actually refreshing. Take a look. Looks like the bottom isn't completely sealed, but I'm sure there's no way water's getting, getting through a hundred feet of concrete in that pipe. All right, someday in the future, we'll come take a look at it after a few years, after a big storm, see how the old or the new one holds up. Should be pretty interesting. While I'm all wet, let's go walk in the other one before the camera dies. mucky there. Now their next project, they need to replace that bridge. It has all that wood under it because it's failing. It's to stop concrete chunks from falling on cars. Yeah, and this one got to be replaced, but the DPW told me that one's years down the road. They just repaved the road over that piece of junk. See, this is what the old lake drain looked like on the inside originally all that rust definitely needs to be replaced but they said it's just not in the budget but that doesn't pose a giant hazard it's not very deep in the ground let's get lights on look at all the sand it's making a little sandbar there it's eroding a bit it is pretty slippery in here good thing it's not raging Got a little bit of build up right here. You see it's actually digging down, but I'm sure the bottom's sealed. I'm sorry about that. I can't use panoramic in here. Yep, that's manhole cover number one. There are clean outs in case it ever clogs. See, it's pitch dark down here. Got a few animal tracks in the bottom. Feels like the pipe's getting smaller right here. Like it's actually crushed. Just checking my battery power. This was unexpected. I don't have my good camera. I'm using a cell phone, and this is just the camera flash. It's a lot of sediment here in the pipe. Okay, we've reached the next clean out. There's already some debris building up in here. Some gravel from the construction site. A big rock, a few sticks. There's clean out number two. And there's the drain. Look at all the gravel in here. Maybe that's intentional to slow it down. But it really reduces headroom. Oh, oh, we sprung a leak. Oh, you, you did a pretty bad job right there, DOT. Your brand new seals are leaking. And that means there's a lot of pressure, because you know, it's leaking, so we're actually under the pond right now. Ooh, 
Look at that. Uh-oh. Massive failure of the brand new pipe that's only been in a few weeks. What the heck? See it coming out of that crack? And look at the air coming out too. They need to redo this one. Okay, and it's a few feet deep here. This is in case of emergency. They can drain the whole pond. Look at that valve. Imagine if that opened right now. I'd be screwed. I can get panoramic view now with the regular camera. I don't have the flash for it. Pretty nice. All right. You see it just tricking down the wall a tiny bit. And that's, what, that's what's concerning me. You see that, right? There's no current coming in the pipe here. But all that current you saw from the beginning of my video, and we're about to see it walking back, it's all coming out of this crack. I'll show you when we get back. Look at this. Oh my damn, there's so much current coming out of that crack. I could stick my hand in there. Look at how much. The crack's like two inches wide. Look at that. You know what, that's digging underneath where I'm standing. I, I'm serious, they just put this new structure at the end in a few weeks ago, and they did it wrong in a rush. And right here, look at this one, that one's failing. There's so much pressure on that pipe. And when we get out, I'm gonna show you why. Telling you, this new pipe is smaller than the old lake drain. That old one had like two feet of sediment in the bottom, but yet I could stand up comfortably. I'm like crouched over right now. Oh, almost slipped. Stirred up a lot of sediment. Look at this, we have a whirlpool right here. Pretty cool. I got here today. I was so excited to see they replaced it. Until now, it's not done correctly. 2.2 million dollars of taxpayers' money shouldn't get you a broken, leaky pipe. You see right here, they were digging this up again since. All right, this is why it's failing. Right underneath me, is that pipe I was walking in. You see, you can't even, you cannot see it. It's deep below these rocks and everything. See, it's down there a few feet. It's like a foot beneath the bottom of the pond here. That's a tremendous amount of pressure and it's breaking those seals. Those seals are designed to have force from the inside pushing out, not the outside pushing in. They used the wrong kind of pipe and everything for this. They did the same kind of project nearby in what they call Forest Park in Springfield like a year ago. And this thing, they had a massive cast iron pipe leading into the hill until the pressure was gone. But that is just, well, they at least it's done. At least this new system, if it fails, it won't threaten the highway because it's not very deep in the ground. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. We'll get an update on this eventually.